All right, I'm going to title this uh, The Butler and the Baker. Um, and uh, it's the, really the uh, theme of the video is that the Most High can, uh, it's a light thing for the Most High to raise you up, you know, out of prison, out of an of, uh, unfavorable situation. Uh, and make your, uh, you know, uh, your captives, your enemies be at peace with you. You know, it's, it's a very, very light thing. You have, uh, tons of examples of that in the scriptures and brothers have their own testimonies personally as well. So if you basically, you walk with the Most High, the Most High walks with you. This is a uh, real quick Proverbs sixteen and seven. It says, "When a man's ways please Yahweh, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him." So the Most High, he acknowledges that he sees that, and he's like, "Okay, all right." I'm going to make your enemies be at peace with you. And I have examples of that. Sure, other brothers have personal testimonies of that. You know, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, story I want to, uh, get, get on is about, uh, Joseph when he was in Egypt and, um, he was thrown in prison. This is a uh, Genesis chapter 40 and uh, there was a a butler and a baker that was put in there uh, with them. So uh, the Most High was basically with them the whole time. This is a uh, Exodus, Genesis 31. This is Genesis 40 and verse 1. It says, And it came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and his baker had offended their lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was wroth against two of his officers, against the chief of the butlers and against the chief of the bakers. So he basically, they basically had a offended him you know he was basically pissed off at him reading on verse 3 and he put them in ward in the house of the captain of the guard into the prison the place where Joseph was bound and the captain of the guard charged Joseph with them and he served them and they continued a season in war and they dreamed a dream both of them each man his dream in one night each man, according to the interpretation of his dream, the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, which were bound in the prison. And Joseph came in unto them in the morning and looked upon them, and behold, they were sad. And he asked Pharaoh's officers that were with him in the ward of his Lord's house, saying, Wherefore look ye so sadly today? And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them, tell me them, I pray you. And the chief butler told his dream to Joseph and said to him, In my dream, behold, a vine was before me. And in the vine were three branches, and it was as though it budded, and her blossoms shot forth and the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes and pharaoh's cup was in mine hand and i took the grapes and pressed them into pharaoh's cup and i gave the cup into pharaoh's hand and joseph said unto him this is the interpretation of it the three branches are three days so the most i gave uh uh 
Joseph basically uh, gifts of interpretation. Uh, reading on. Yet within three days, verse 13. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head and restore thee unto thy place. And thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand after the former manner when thou wast his butler. But think on me when it shall be well with thee and show kindness, I pray thee unto me and make mention of me unto Pharaoh and bring me out of this house. So Joseph was like, all right, you know, I'm looking out for you. Look out for me. You know, just remember and, you know, as, a, as you keep reading on, you know, he, he gets out and he don't even mention Joseph, you know, you know, it's, it, it, I've, I've been in, uh, uh, what's, what's not, uh, well, yeah, locked up cause I was confined, but, uh, uh, in the institution where I couldn't leave, you, you know, I was locked up, you know people leave they they ain't they not looking back they want to put that behind them it reminds me of a scene with 12 years a slave when uh the slave master came to get one of the slaves a redeemer you know the slave was like yeah yeah we're gonna ride on this cracker all that type of stuff they're like yeah we're gonna ride on that cracker then when his slave master came to redeem him that's my slave yes i'm coming and Solomon North, who they was calling him Platt, he was yelling at him, and I'm like, yo, trying to get his attention, like, hey, you, you gonna say bye? He ran into his white master's hand, and then he turned to look to where he was running away from. He was like, bro, like, you leaving me? And not even saying bye, not gonna put in a word? Nothing? It's the same uh, concept with him. He was just ready to just leave. He's just like, ah, man. New life. But the Most High still had a trick, had a had, had a other plan still. Now, reading on, verse fifteen: For indeed I was stolen away out of the hand of the Hebrews, and here also have I done nothing that they should put me into the dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good. He said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream, and behold, I had three white baskets on my head, and in the uppermost basket there was of all manner of baked meats for Pharaoh, and the birds did eat them out of the basket upon my head. And Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days, three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head. From off thee, and shall hang thee on a tree, and the bird shall eat thy flesh from off thee. And it shall, and it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto all his servants, and he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. 21. And he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again, and he gave the cup unto Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker, as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forget him. That's the part I was uh, saying earlier. He, you know, he forgot him. But thing is that then Pharaoh had a dream. If you keep reading, Pharaoh had a dream, and nobody could interpret his dream. And well, that's the next chapter over. And the magicians, everybody couldn't interpret it. But then the butler, after a while, uh, it said after two full years in verse verse one. So this is after some time. The butler kind of overheard the dream. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is a guy. He in jail. Yeah. You know, his conscience kind of struck him. Uh, yeah. And so the Pharaoh went to go uh, search for Joseph. He said, hey, tell me what this is. He said, all right, you know, seven years of plenty of food and seven years of famine. You know, here's how y'all handle this, you know, uh, five years, you know, y'all, you know, uh, you know, reap, you know, and, and save and store some food. 
and everybody saw that it was good. And then it was because his uh, reliability, his integrity, and him walking with the Most High, the, the Most High, his, his ways pleased the Most High, and he, he found favor with his enemies. It's no different than with uh, Mordecai. When he uh, alerted Esther, and Esther alerted uh, uh, Ahasuerus, basically, that uh, there was a plot to kill him. And nothing happened, and shit. And actually, and he, when he, he couldn't go to sleep one day, and you know, he brought out the books, and he like, hey man, somebody did a favor to me a long time ago. What's been done for him? And, and Mordecai, and they were like, this guy named Mordecai, nothing. And then that's when he had uh, Haman. He had to basically uh, uh, show, uh, you know, parade him around the city. But he showed most high showed favor to Mordecai. You know, it's 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 a light thing for the most high, you know, to show favor towards you and have your enemy show favor towards you you can have it to where your enemy is, is sick mortally sick or your enemy's daughter or your enemy's son and you help them and then that person who's in a powerful position you know uh basically puts you in a high position and understands that man the most high is with you this is uh genesis 30 and 27 Because uh, Pharaoh ended up putting uh, Joseph over all, over all of Egypt, over his whole house. Genesis 30 and 27. It says, Wherefore didst thou flee away secretly? Uh, that's 31. Genesis 30 and 27. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, I have found favor. If I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that Yahweh hath blessed me for thy sake. So he understood, like, yo, you like a good luck charm almost. And Pharaoh was looking at him like, yeah, like Pharaoh, like I got like Joseph is that guy. I gotta look out for him. You got a situation in your job where you're the only person that can do something, and then you your boss don't like you, but you don't want to get the job done. You no, know, it's a light thing for the most high to show favor to you. You know, on that note, I'm gonna give all praise and glory unto you. How about Shimmy Awashai by Shimmy God? Double honors to the elders of GMS Well, peace, I taste the lake, I can win the four corners, prison truth, sincerity, peace be unto you, and shalom.